TDR Network presents Inspire 2015 The American inventor Thomas Edison he once said I have not failed I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work I have not failed I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. In the sense, he failed 10,000 times. But it's all right. I've just found out that, you know, these 10,000 ways won't work. And let's move on to 10,001. This is it. It's a learning process. You learn through your mistakes and your experiences. There was once a uh, shipping company. And they had a, you know, a, a fleet of ships. A huge uh, freight shipping company, all right? They had a fleet of ships, and one of their biggest ships had some engine problems, engine failure. And then they started to look around, go around for engineers to repair this problem. And so many engineers came in, all these you know, big names. They all came in, and they tried to you know, make the, you know, revive the engine, but no one could do it. And uh, this was one of their biggest ships, and it meant a lot. They were losing a lot of money by keeping their ship docked at the harbor. So they started to look high and low, search for a, an engineer, somebody to repair the engine. And someone told them of this old man. He used to be a very good engineer, and generally, you know, he knows his stuff. So they're like, okay, contact the man, get him down somehow. They conta contacted him, and he comes. Simple-looking man with his bag of tools. He comes, shuffles around slowly, and he makes his way to the engine room, the boiler room, wherever it is. And he started to fiddle around with his tools. Now, the owners of the company, they were a bit skeptical the minute they saw the old man. But they thought, okay, he has a good reputation. Perhaps, you know, he, you never know, he might repair it. And they were looking around. He started fiddling around here and there, you know, checking. He was thoroughly checking the engine. Until finally, he goes to his bag. He takes a little hammer, a hammer. And he goes to one point in the engine and taps it. Ooh. It starts to work. Then they were all surprised. The man you know, packed up everything and started to leave. So then they asked him, what about your bill? He said, I'll post you my bill. He goes, a few days pass, and the bill is posted to the company. One of the managers opens up the letter and sees the bill amounts to $1,000. They were surprised. This man, he just came in. What did he do? He didn't do anything. He just came and tapped. For that, $1,000? Seriously? So they write back to him saying, we need, we require an itemized bill in the sense we want to know why, you know, it's costing $1,000. The man sends another bill, itemized bill, tapping with a hammer $2, knowing where to tap $998. So it's a learning process, you know? Life is all about gaining knowledge and experiences. And through experience, you can learn so much, especially through our mistakes, you know? Like they say, your, the best teacher was your last mistake. The best teacher was your last mistake. Because you're going to learn so much. You're not going to, you're go, you, you will obviously tell yourself that I should not make that mistake ever again. Why should I fall into the same pit again? So the best teacher for yourself was your last mistake. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.